back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna and I make New York City based adventure videos spiked with love and positivity. This week we are no longer in New York City. We are in Playa del Carmen, Mexico at Iberostar Quetzal and Tucan. In this video, I'll take you on a resort tour, show you the dining options, and take you on a room tour. I'm really excited to get this video started. But before we do, please subscribe if you enjoy New York City-based videos or international trips like this one. All right, let's get this tour started. Playa del Carmen is a four-hour flight from New York City. Ibero Stars Resort is located inside a gated community called Playa Car. On your way there, you'll see small homes, mansions, a shopping area, and other resorts. Besides the shops in this gated community, there are also restaurants, a pharmacy, clothing stores, and areas where you can purchase tours to Tulum or Chichen Itza. Quetzal is located on the left side of the main entrance of the hotel, and Tucan is on the right. Ibero Star has won numerous Golden Apple Awards for their outstanding quality. The reception area welcomes you with concierge who will help you book reservations at the specialty restaurants, bellboys who will store your luggage until your room is ready, and infused water. The entire resort has an open concept. All areas are exposed to the elements. The only place where you'll find air conditioning is in your room and in a few of the specialty restaurants. All areas are equipped with fans to ensure that a nice breeze is present no matter where you may be. In the lobby, you'll also be greeted by these two friendly parrots. This is what the Quetzal reception looks like. And here is Tucan's reception. On the Quetzal side, a bar is located at the back of the lobby area. You'll also find shops on both sides selling sunscreen, flip-flops, jewelry, clothing, and other essential items like toothbrushes. In the main area of the resort, the walkways are flanked by vegetation, water, and fish. When you book a room at this resort, you'll be staying at either Quetzal or Tucan. This is my third time staying here, and I've been on both sides. Despite the two different names and separate reception areas, both sides are identical. The rooms look the same, you'll be eating in the same dining halls, and attending the same shows in the theater in the evenings. Stay tuned for the room tour and a glimpse of the evening entertainment later on in the video. Rooms are located in these three-story casitas. When you first arrive, a bellboy will drive you over in a golf cart and help bring the luggage to your room. Sustainability is important to Ibero Star. No single-use plastics are available in your room or in the dining areas. Their fish are sustainably sourced. This resort is full of vegetation and wildlife. Speaking of which, let's explore the jungle area, where many animals can be seen. Pathways through the jungle area can be taken on your way to the dining halls, beach, theater, rooms, and lobby area. I loved walking through this part and looking around for animals. You'll find yourself spending a few extra minutes here observing the creatures. Do you see any animals? Peacocks are abundantly present, not only in the jungle area. But also in the lobby and by the beach dining area. If you have a room on the first floor, 
you may find some peacocks visiting in the morning. Flamingos stay in their enclosure near the main dining hall. Koti are intelligent omnivores. They're often seen digging around for food. Howler monkeys are often in the trees, so this is a rare glimpse of a mother with her baby. You will hear these monkeys howling at 6 a.m. most days, especially if you're on the Quetzal side. You'll also hear them during the day as you walk through the jungle area. Do not feed any of the animals. The monkeys may bite. Agoutis are a type of rodent. They're super sweet and even make their way down to the beach in search of fruits, nuts, berries, and plants. Several iguanas also make their home here. They're seen lounging in the sun and on the rocks, but can be difficult to spot in the jungle area since they camouflage well with the terrain. Huge tortoises are found in their enclosures by the pool. The beach is my definition of paradise. Early in the morning, the beach and water are the most peaceful. The massage hut, lifeguard tower, and straw umbrellas are nearly deserted at this hour, although there are enough early risers still roaming around. At 6.45 a.m., there is yoga on the beach every morning. Many activities are hosted by the resort. Free activities include yoga, a boot camp fitness class in the gym, and water aerobics in the pool. Check the Iberostar app or large touchscreen tablet in the dining hall for a complete list of activities. One day, we caught a beach wedding. It makes for a perfect romantic backdrop. The ocean is warm and clear. Beach lovers will want to spend all day in the water. This is the view towards the beach. The water is so clear that you'll see all the way to the bottom and even catch some fish swimming by. I once saw a couple feeding an entire hot dog to a school of these fish. One person was ripping pieces of hot dog and throwing it into the water while the other had soaked a hot dog bun and was throwing pieces of bread in the water. They were surrounded by at least 30 fish, all of which were competing for the hot dog bits. I've never seen anything like it. Also, can anyone identify what type of fish these are? Snorkeling and kayaking are free for an hour. Activities like parasailing, Jet skiing, sailing lessons, and scuba diving require an extra charge. If you already know how to sail, you can take the small sailboats for an hour free of charge. The water is waist high until a long distance out. Even if you cannot swim, you'll be fine as the waves are gentle and the water is not deep. There is an area on the beach where food is served daily around noon to 1.30 p.m. It's usually a paella with rice and seafood or tacos with ground meat. There is an additional area open for almost the entire day where you can find a variety of fruits, hot dogs, burgers, french fries, and condiments. Close by is this shaded dining area. Also by the beach is another place where you can get drinks, such as Jamaica, horchata, and citrus water. Ice cream and frozen yogurt are served here in a cone. Behind this area is the beachfront bar, 
Further on is an area to wash your feet of sand. If you walk on the beach, you'll see these enclosed areas. This is where sea turtles create nests and lay their eggs. These are protected areas. I observed at least five nests on the beach. The pool area is a neatly organized part of the resort. The main pool is huge. It gets deep in the middle where not even I could touch the bottom with my feet. There's a hot tub near the other end and a smaller area that gradually drops off where children can play near the edge. Separate from the main pool is an adults only pool with a swim up bar. Also around the pool is a gated children's playground area. Now it's time to explore the dining options. The main buffet area, which serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner in a casual setting, is called Kazumel. The menu changes every day, and there's plenty of variety, although some sections are consistent in what they offer. For instance, you'll always find the fresh fruit juices, omelet station, salad area, yogurts, fruit, and pastries served at breakfast. You may also see some cute visitors roaming around while you're enjoying your breakfast. Lunch consistently offers fish, chicken, steak, a burger and hot dog area, pizza, pasta, fruits, tacos, ice cream, and plenty of desserts. Now, let's head to dinner. Now I'll take you to most of the specialty restaurants. These include the Texas Smokehouse, Mexican restaurant, Japanese restaurant called Bonsai, and the Mediterranean restaurant. Reservations to three restaurants can be made upon your arrival. 
On subsequent mornings, you can book more restaurants at the concierge desk in the lobby. The Texas Smokehouse serves the entire menu on a platter from which everyone shares. You'll find sausage, chicken thighs, pulled pork, beef brisket, french fries, empanadas, salsa, bread, coleslaw, and cheese with corn. You'll also be given a variety of dipping sauces. For dessert, everyone was eager to bite into their portions. You'll notice a piece of each has already been taken. We had key lime, fried banana, and chocolate cake. The Mexican restaurant is wonderfully decorated. Here, you'll find favorites such as beef barbacoa, guacamole, and many different types of tacos. You'll also find another friendly visitor here coming by your table and looking up at you asking for food. For dessert, we got a few things. Vanilla cake with tequila. We ordered some pina coladas. Love the glassware they came in. This is the corn cake with ice cream. And finally, we had some rice pudding. The Japanese restaurant called Bonsai is a hibachi style place where the chef will cook your main entree in front of you. First, you'll be served two appetizers, which consist of sushi and miso soup. Then the show begins. Your meal will consist of rice, vegetables, shrimp, beef, and chicken. For dessert, you'll be served some interesting custard cream desserts. The Mediterranean restaurant serves appetizers and desserts as buffet style. There is tomato gazpacho, shrimp cocktail with pink sauce, octopus, marinated tuna, a variety of cheeses like manchego, blue cheese, and brie, a selection of dried fruits and nuts, salads with quinoa and other toppings, and a selection of warm dishes, such as kebab skewers, lasagna, and oysters. For dessert, you can choose from crepes, flan, and other small chocolate and nut desserts. For my main meal, I had the salmon with polenta and capers. Here is what the octopus entree looks like. Now we're gonna do the room tour. Every person is gonna get a resort bracelet and on it is your room key. So that's the really convenient part. No need to worry about actual physical cards. Your room key is on your wrist. So we're just gonna tap this here. It flashes green and we're inside the room. Welcome. On the left side, you'll find the bathroom and it's pretty basic. It has a toilet, one sink, and a shower. It's everything that you need. How pretty. Today by the sink, we got a beautiful swan and a flower. Here on the right side, you'll find a closet. And inside, it has a safe, and then a few sets of shelves here where you can put your stuff. On the other side, you'll find some hangers, an ironing board, an iron, and in the corner over here is the umbrella. So in case it rains, you're prepared. Over here on the left side, you'll find a full length mirror. Always nice for checking out your outfit before you go out for dinner. 
And so here is a room that sleeps four people. You have two double beds. You'll have a flat screen TV here. And in this cubby hole underneath the TV, you'll find this mini fridge. And inside it's stocked with some beer, some soft drinks, some sparkling water. Um, and this is stocked daily. Here you'll be given two of these glass bottles and you can fill these with water on every single floor of the hotel space. Here in this second cubby hole, we have a coffee maker and some mugs and just some extra space where you can store your luggage, for instance. Whether you stay at Iberostar Quetzal or Tucan, the rooms look the same. They're pretty dimly lit and the furnishings are just very basic. Over here, near the back of the room, there's a chair and a table and then another seating spot here to your right. One critique I have about this room is that there isn't enough storage space for everyone's belongings. So if four people were staying in this room, there wouldn't be enough space for everyone to put their stuff away. So I really wish that there was some more shelf space in here. Now I'll take you out to the balcony. Here we have the jungle view. At this resort, you'll have one of two views, either a jungle view like this one or an ocean view. You can also pay extra to get a room near the pool, which means that you'll be closer to the ocean. Sometimes when you're sleeping or if you're sitting out here on the balcony, you may see and hear the monkeys. This resort has animals around and there are two different types of monkeys. You may see them jumping through the trees and howling at night. Those in particular are the howler monkeys. <laughs> this is what the howler monkeys sound like. They like to howl at 6 a.m. most mornings, and you may hear them throughout the day, especially in the jungle area. In the evenings, the hotel turns into a wonderful oasis. The reception area becomes a softly lit space. The lobby bar may host activities like karaoke or have an invited professional guitarist. The main nightly entertainment activity takes place in the theater area. This is what it looks like during the day. Different shows are put on each evening. The shows start around 8.30 or 9 p.m. They'll be advertised by the breakfast area. We caught Oz Barba, a professional guitarist. The Mexican Fiesta. A white party where hotel guests took over the stage and danced. The Frida Kahlo show, which was my favorite. It was more of a dance and aerial show. The aerial acts were breathtaking.
A dynamic fire show on the beach was accompanied by electronic music. A Once Upon a Time show, which smartly combined several fairy tale characters and popular songs. And finally, a Michael Jackson impersonator show. After the shows, you can continue the party in the Kids Free Sports Bar, located in a separate building in front of the reception area. Sometimes special rock shows will take place here for an extra charge. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you found it helpful in planning your next vacation. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Also, join me on Instagram at Miss Anna Adventures. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you in next week's video. Take care. Bye.